So name is Javier Tirenti. Um, I'm, I'm going to be delighted to be answering your questions either now or afterwards when, when we finish. If you have any concerns about designs or whatever, uh, it is my pleasure to be uh, answering your, your questions regarding static equipment and different things. I've been participating in projects, EPC projects, for the last probably 20 years. Um, most of them working as a piping engineer and a static equipment engineer. So um, I've designed quite a few pressure vessels. Um, so far, none of them has exploded, at least not that I know of. So that helps me sleep at night. Anyway, let's talk about nozzle design. I mean, nozzle design is the most critical part of every single static equipment. And why? Because we have to deploy, we have to weld different elements, several elements on a, on a nozzle. When we are attaching a nozzle to a static equipment, pressure vessel, heat exchanger, you name it. So it is critical that we understand the different tools we have available when it comes to um, selecting the right nozzle uh, to, match, to match the right requirements. Anyway, nozzle design. Nozzles are super important to every equipment. Without nozzles, the equipment is dead. We cannot interconnect it. We cannot, um, we cannot include this equipment into the process line. So we are going to have inlet nozzles. Uh, we are going to have outlet nozzles. We are going to have drains, uh, level control nozzles, instrumentation, uh, PSVs, you name it. We are going to have uh, several nozzles. For example, I don't know, off the top of my head, a fractionator, fractionating column that is a vertical pressure vessel which fractionates raw product, in this case, in this case could be petroleum, is going to fractionate it in, into different phases. That equipment, it is pretty large. Sometimes we could, we could be talking about 10 meters diameter and 100 meters height. 10 meters and 100, and we can find more than 100, 120 nozzles. So you can imagine that. It is just a cylinder that is filled with holes, and it is a nightmare. It is a nightmare. It is a nightmare to design it from the pressure vessel point of view and from the piping designer. It is actually a nightmare to orientate all the nozzles, uh, to match it with the internal process, anyway. So we have different nozzle configurations that we are going to be able to choose from in order to design our pressure vessel. We have pipe, coupling, pipe couplings, we have forged steel nozzles, we have built-up nozzles. This is the most typical configuration, built-up nozzles. It's like uh, we are we're going to be talking about this before, uh, sorry, uh, later in, in the next slide. So. Not a problem. And we have integrally, integrally reinforced nozzles. It is a solid piece of metal that is going to be designed, is going to be tailored according to every specific um, design. Most expensive, more, most, most, more reliable. I mean, it normally goes that way. So a typical nozzle configuration, um, it is the one we are seeing in the, in the, on the screen. We have the flange element, that is the connection element between the equipment and the pipeline, as you all know. This could be standard, preferable, or preferred case, or could be non-standard. We are going to be discussing when that could happen. We have the nozzle neck, that normally is made out of uh, a standard pipe, and we have the reinforcement plate. 